Hey everybody, I'm Mary, and this is my Simple Cottage Life. Hey everybody, I have a hankering for chicken and dumplings and I've been making them this way for years and years and I haven't had any complaints yet. I don't roll out the dough and all that kind of stuff. Nope, nope, nope. I do it a simple way, a very, very simple way. So first, first, I boil chicken thighs. Now I use dark meat chicken because I think it has a better flavor than the white meat. Now, used to, when my husband was still here, I'd use a whole chicken, and I'd just boil that chicken until it, the meat fell off the bone. Y'all hear the movie? I forgot to turn down the movie before I came in here. Uh, sorry, that's Alien. I'm watching Alien with Sigourney Weaver. I like the movie. Anyway, we'll forget that. So, today I'm doing... Um, chicken breasts, and I've got four of them in this big pot that I use. I like to use this pot. And I add a 32 fluid ounce thing of chicken broth. You don't have to have chicken broth. If you're boiling a chicken, say you're boiling the whole chicken or, or whatever, you know, the chicken boiled in water will give you a delicious chicken broth just as it is but I like to add a little extra chicken broth so I put 32 ounces in here and so far I've added about 24 ounces of water and so I'm going to boil it until the um, the meat falls off the bone and then I'll come back and show you what else we do okay so it's falling off the bone and I'm going to take it now put them in a bowl that's gross Now what I'm going to do is when this cools a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and take all of this all of this off the bone and also I'm going to take the um, the skin off of it because I, I don't want to leave the skin on it. So I'm going to let that cool and then I will debone that chicken and I'll come back. Okay, now we're going to add a whole stick of butter, not margarine. I'm going to cover that and let that melt. And then we're going to prepare what we'll make dumplings out of. Okay, here's what we're making our dumplings out of. Biscuits. And I'm using the house brand biscuit. In this case, it's great value, a Walmart product. Been doing this for years. It's easy. There we go. All right. So here's what you do, and I know y'all have made these, you know you have. Here's what you do, you get your broth boiling, and all you do, take a biscuit, peel off a little bit of it, just a bit, and drop it in. Just keep peeling, peeling off little bits, adding them to the pot in that boiling uh, chicken broth, 
I have added some salt and pepper. I don't like to add salt very much to my food, but in the case of chicken and dumplings, you've got to have some, got to have some salt and the pepper. All right, another biscuit. I keep wanting to touch the side of that pan. I've got to stop doing that. Just peel off little pieces, drop it in there. Okay, now I've got four cans of biscuits. I don't know if I'll use four or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and pinch them off and put them in there. And then I will come back and show you what that looks like. So I got all four cans of biscuits in there. That's what they look like. I stirred them down good, put a lid on them, turn the heat to low, and I'm gonna leave them like that for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to debone the chicken. Okay, I've removed all the chicken from the bones, threw away the cartilage and the skin. There's my chicken. My dumplings. Add the chicken. Just put it in there. Mix it up. That broth begins to thicken. You can see how thick that broth is getting. So good with all that butter in there. chicken and dumplings made the easiest way I know how. I'm going to let that cook just a little bit longer. It's really ready to eat now, but I'm going to let it cook just a little bit longer and let that, let that chicken kind of meld in with all those other flavors. And then I'll show you what the final bowl looks like when I come back. So here they are chicken and dumplings. It's easy, it's quick, it's inexpensive. You can feed a whole family. Look how good that looks. Made with biscuits. Basically biscuits, water, if you want to make your own broth or you can add broth, butter, salt, pepper. That's it y'all. Bon appétit.